Welcome to GCRD Technologies. Introduction to SQL. SQL. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. It is a database language. It is used to create and manage databases. It is domain specific language. Means it is for specific purpose. Purpose is database management, creating and managing databases. For example, Java. Java is general purpose programming language. C is general purpose. C++ is general purpose. Python is general purpose. Why? Suppose Java. Java is used to develop different types of applications for different domains. See, you can develop uh, e-commerce applications, ERP applications, banking applications, insurance applications, desktop applications, uh, mobile applications, uh, web applications using Java technology, Java programming language. But SQL is domain specific language. It is used to create databases and manage databases. Suppose HTML, hypertext markup language. HTML is domain specific language. It is for web page design. XML is domain specific. UML is domain specific. Okay, come to mainstream. SQL, structured query language is used to create and manage databases. Say data, it is an important concept of information technology. If there is no data, no meaning of information technology. Data, say we have several types of data. Number is data. Text, text suppose name, address, uh, city name, etc. Text is data. Numbers, whole number. Suppose 100 is data. Next, number with decimal places, 100.234 is data suppose single character y n data next logical value <coughs> true false data not to these all these are structured data not only these data types say message is data okay message is text audio is data video is data graph is data animation is data Okay, say nowadays we have two important categories of databases. One is SQL databases or relational databases. Relational databases. Relational databases support structured format, tabular format. Example, Oracle is relational database management system. Oracle MS SQL Server, Sybase, DB2, SQL, etc. Next, uh, another type, no SQL databases or non-relational databases. See, relational databases, non-relational databases. Or you can say SQL databases and no SQL databases. See, SQL concept is uh, old concept. It's available in uh, 90s, 90s onwards. Uh, NoSQL uh, database concept, 2000, 20 years old. SQL database concept, more than 40 years old. Uh, I think uh, nearly 50 years old. Okay. See, SQL domain specific language, structured query language. It is not pure programming language like Java, etc. In SQL, you can't find control flow statements like uh, uh, if uh, for uh, if like conditional statements for like loop statements but it has classes where like classes and one more thing SQL is not sufficient for creating and managing relational databases so that uh, nowadays we have so many proprietary languages available suppose Oracle uses SQL Next, SQL is not sufficient for Oracle. That's why they, they developed their own language, SQL extension, TLSQL, 
procedural language and structured query language. Suppose SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server developed TSQL, extension of SQL, Transact SQL. Okay. Uh, what is, uh, and one more thing, SQL is important for SQL knowledge is important for database developers, database testers, and database administrators. Okay, uh, first uh, chapter index, what is structured query language, purpose of SQL, who should learn SQL, what are the subsets of SQL, data, important subsets, subsets of SQL, DDL, data definition language, DML, data manipulation language, DCL, data control language. Uh, first, what is SQL? Already we discussed it. SQL stands for structured query language. Next, SQL was initially developed at IBM in the 1970s. It is open source now. Next, SQL is the standard language to communicate with the Relational database management systems like Oracle, MS Access, MS SQL Server, MySQL, DB2, Sybase, etc. Next, another type of database is also there. Non-relational databases, no SQL databases, Mango, not Mango, MAN, M-A-N, MangoDB, Cassandra, CouchDB, etc. MangoDB is popular NoSQL database. Okay, second one. Purpose of SQL. See, <clears throat> SQL structured query language is used to create new databases, relational databases, tabular format databases. Uh, nowadays, data not only in tabular format. See, we have different types of data. Structured data, semi-structured data, and unstructured data. See, structured plus semi-structured plus unstructured data equals to big data. Okay. Uh, SQL is used to create relational databases, tabular format databases. Next, SQL is used to create new tables in a database. Next. SQL is used to insert uh, records in a database, means creating new records. Next, SQL is used to update records in a database, means uh, update, uh, modifying data. Next, SQL is delete. SQL is used to delete records in a database. Next, SQL is used to retrieve data from a database, important one. Next, SQL is used to execute Queries against a database. SQL can set permissions on table, procedures and views, security. Next, SQL is used to create stored procedures in a database. Next, SQL is used to create, is used to create views in a database. These are the important purposes of SQL. Next, uh, who should learn SQL? I've already told. See, uh, SQL knowledge is used for, SQL knowledge is important for database developers, database testers, and database administrators. First, database developers uh, to design and manage, or you can say to create and manage databases uh, in the database tables, forms, reports, queries, etc. Next, database administrators, DBA, keeping databases up to date and managing database access. Next, writing reports, documentation and operating uh, manuals. Next, database testers, uh, important one, our area, verify data 
data integrity, verify data manipulations, add, update, and delete operations, verify data comparisons, etc. Next, fourth topic. Fourth topic in this chapter. What are the important subsets of SQL? See, SQL has several sub-languages. Uh, in these, important are uh, database definition language, DDL, DML, database manipulation language. Next, database control language, DCL. Uh, first, database definition language. Fifth topic in this chapter. Database definition language. Here important commands and operations are create. To create databases and database objects like tables, etc. Next, alter. Alter command. SQL is not case sensitive. Okay. To modify existing database objects. Next, drop to drop databases and database objects. Next, truncate to remove all records from a table. Next, rename to rename database objects like tables, etc. Next, sixth one, uh, sixth topic in this chapter, data manipulation language, DML, subset of SQL. See, uh, important commands and operations in database, sorry, data manipulation language are select. See, this DML is important for database testers, software testers. Select what is select command to select specific data from a database. Next, insert to insert new records in a table. Next, update to update existing records. Next, delete to delete existing records from a table. Next, last one, we planned three subsets of SQL. Others also there. These three are important. Data control language, DCL. Important commands and operations in data control language are one is grant grant to provide access to the database objects to the users next revoke to revoke user access rights to the database objects next deny to deny permissions to users thank you